You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. All right, parents, it is a controversial topic, and it pertains to your child's health. Many parents are blaming standard vaccines for causing their children to be diagnosed with autism. But most health professionals completely disagree. Joining me now is Dr. Timothy Duran, Chairman of pediatric, uh, Pediatrics for Greater Baltimore Medical Center. Thank you very much, Doctor, for coming in with Good us. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. It is a, I mean, Jenny McCarthy, we had that, what, a few years ago, saying that she, her child was autistic because of vaccines, regular vaccines that we majority of us have had. And then that kind of went by the wayside, and now, where are we now? Well, we're still having a problem where people are fear, some people are fearful of vaccines. There's a tremendous amount of misinformation especially on the internet and the evidence, the scientific evidence is so solid uh, that about vaccines and vaccine safety and the good that they do. And our problem right now is we're having outbreaks of preventable diseases, measles, whooping cough, mumps, all because of lower vaccination rates. But now there are some side effects to vaccines. Is that true or is that a myth as well? No, absolutely. There are minor, mostly minor side effects. Okay. They're extremely rare serious side effects on the order of one in a million. Uh, but the number of, for instance, the number of measles cases in this country is, was around 500,000 before we started with vaccines. Okay. A few years ago, it was down to 30. Now it's up about 120. Uh, we're seeing more measles cases, but... But uh, why is that? I mean, why, why are we starting to see more of, this, of these measles cases? That was a, almost like a thing of the past. I mean, like a polio or something that was gone. Why, why is it coming back? Well, very simply, we're losing herd immunity. Herd immunity is the ability of a population, a community, to prevent an outbreak of a, of a communicable disease. Okay. By having most of the people vaccinated, the, the infectious child can't spread it to other children because they're vaccinated. Once you break down that barrier and you have children who are unimmunized, it then can spread right through the community. Okay. Now, do you think this is a generational thing? I mean, our generation now has not, well, at least some of us have not seen these diseases firsthand, like our grandparents witnessed it. And so that's why they're saying, okay, we're a little bit, we can't see it. Let's not trust the government. Let's not try trust all these people are pushing us. And that's what's causing this backlash? Absolutely. Meningitis is an example. Uh, we don't see much meningitis. It's in the news when children get meningitis. Right. When I was a resident not that long, well, a, a while ago, we would see lots and dozens of cases right. of meningitis. So we've been a victim of our own success. Polio, we don't see polio anymore. We can see polio if we start uh, missing vaccinations and losing our herd immunity. Yep. It will return. All right, so last right when we're leaving, best thing to do, get your child vaccinated? Absolutely. All right, well, no thank question you very about much. it. Thank you very much for coming in. Dr. Timothy Duran coming in here as well from GBMC. We appreciate that. Well, come